Remember phone books? I remember phone books. You'd have a name, and then you'd look that person up and copy down their phone number, and then you'd dial their number into a phone the size of your face. Imagine if email was like that. You'd have someone's email address, which is like their name, but then you'd still have to look up their domain's mail server, which is like their phone number. Finally, you'd have to copy everything down and send an email to... Well, you get the point. But email's not like that. When you send a message, you can just type in any email address and click send without having to add any weird looking mail servers. So, how does Gmail or any other email service just automatically know which mail server to deliver your mail to? The answer is, wait for it, an MX record. Your domain's MX records consist of a list of mail servers that tell email services like Gmail where to deliver your incoming mail. That's pretty much it. It's just like being listed in a virtual mail server phone book, where your email address is your name, your MX record is your phone number, and the internet itself is the book. So, anytime you send an email to anyone, Gmail will look up that person's domain in the virtual mail server phone book and will deliver your message to the right server. All of this brought to you by your pals at the internet, free of charge. Here's the deal, if you just bought your domain from a Google partner while signing up for Google Apps, then we've already changed your MX records for you. Pretty cool, right? If you bought your domain a while ago, then you should keep watching. ASPMX.L.Google.com is Gmail's primary mail server. If that isn't listed first in your MX records, then your incoming mail won't be delivered to Gmail. Right now, your MX records probably list a bunch of non-Gmail mail servers, so even if you've signed up for Google Apps, your mail will continue to be delivered to your old servers until you change your records. Don't worry though, changing your MX records is easy. Just go to our MX Record Help Center article right here and choose the instructions specific to your domain host. If you don't know who your host is, you can find out by reading this Help Center article. The exact process varies depending on your host, but generally speaking, all you need to do is log into your domain host's website and locate the page where you can update your domain's DNS records. Next, find the MX Records section and edit the record with the lowest priority value. Once you point that record to aspmx.l.google.com, your incoming mail will eventually start flowing into Gmail. Just a disclaimer, we recommend adding Gmail's alternate mail servers as additional MX records just in case the primary server isn't working. You can copy and paste them from this article right here. Another disclaimer, your new MX records will not take effect immediately. The length of the delay depends directly on your old MX records time to live, otherwise known as TTL, which sounds way cooler. So, if your TTL is one hour, then it will take one hour for the new records to start working. Well, that pretty much covers it. Remember, we've created specific step-by-step -step instructions for over 75 domain hosts, so please check those out if you have any lingering questions. And as always, thanks for watching.